Hi, it's Richard from Ignite Growth and I'm just going to do a quick video on creating a target account list. Now a target account list is a very account based marketing term but it effectively means a list of all of your target accounts that you know you would like to work with. So if you've done a lot of the work that I talk about in my other videos of narrowing down what sector and what industry you're focusing on, what you're best delivering to, so the type of person, the type of company that you're best delivering to, then target account lists will become fairly straightforward because you'll know this is my sector. So this is electrical engineering companies in the UK, say. Now within that sector, there'll be different tiers of companies. So you may have Siemens, Siemens Electronics, Siemens Engineering at the top. They'd be a huge corporate, they're international. You know that they're one of your tier one companies. You know, a lot of the big boys in an industry are usually your top five or 10% of companies. You know, if you got a deal with one of those companies, that would probably smash your yearly goal, your annual revenue goal that you've got. So again, the key there is these are my top tier one companies on my list, but you want to make a list of everybody in that industry. So every company in that industry, tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four. I would split it into four tiers, depending on the size of those businesses by turnover, by people, um, their reach so you understand you know these are my tier one companies in my uh, target list and then the target accounts are really broken up by those tiers because that's a key part of this but your target list should have all 200 companies that you know are in that sector you know now this isn't a total addressable market so a total addressable market is anybody that could work with you potentially you know that's a very broad market you're really narrowing in with your target account list to the key accounts that you'd want to work with they're a good fit for what you do they're in the right industry they're the right size and then break them down as i say by tier probably by turnover because you really want most of your effort on the tier one companies getting engagement with those, getting those people into your CRM. So something like HubSpot actually has ABM tools built into it. So there is target accounts you can identify. If I added Siemens to my HubSpot, I'd be able to say, yes, this is a target account. And then anyone who was a contact within Siemens, whoever came into my environment, visited my website, engaged with me in any way, would then be added to that target account. And then within that, you've got decision makers, you've got blockers, you've got influencers. So you've got different type of people that you know in a decision making process you're going to need to be engaging with. So again, that's the key element of having a target account list to start with. It keeps you very, very focused on who you're approaching. So if I'm on LinkedIn and I'm connected with 10, 15 people a day, I'll know exactly who I want to connect with, what company they're gonna work in, and what positions I need within that company to be connected with. So again, that's a very account-based marketing way of approaching things, but this suits nearly any size business, especially B2B businesses where they have identified this is a sector we're going after. You will know from experience most of the key players in there, but then the secret is building out that list. So you've got a definitive list of these are the 300 companies, these are 200 companies that are in a perfect fit for what we do, and these are the different size of business by tier. I would do it by tier, as I say, just to focus your mind on, I need to engage with these tier one people, um, and then if someone comes through your ecosystem or someone starts engaging with you, reading some blog posts, downloading your guides, watching videos, really engaging with you, where they're starting to show some sort of interest, then you should be notified. This is a tier one person. He's the uh, operations director in Siemens, has just been through the website. He's just had a look at these pages. He's downloaded this. He's reading these. Uh, you know, that's really useful information for you to then reach out to that person and start that conversation in a very natural way. But without a target account list, it's very much spray and hope. It's that shotgun mentality. Whereas I think account-based marketing is very much fishing with that spear, not a broad marketing. It's very much waiting for the right people to come through. And then you go after those people, start engaging with them in a more meaningful way. So hopefully that's explained what a target account list is. It's not the total addressable market, everybody you could sell to, it's a very tight list, but it focuses your mind and your sales team and your marketing's mind on these are the 
these are the businesses and these are the accounts that we need to be engaging with. Um, whether you're working with them or not doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, that to me is a future um, thing that we talk about. But I think the key is whenever they have a problem with one of their suppliers now, they want you want to be front of mind in their mind. So they start thinking, hang on, I saw X company, let's talk to them a bit. Uh, and they will actively start engaging and you'll see them come through your website. You clearly know there's something there that they want, are looking for. There's some challenge, some pain, some opportunity they're looking for. So you can start reaching out them to them in a very human way. Connect with them on LinkedIn, have a bit of a general chat, maybe arrange a short meeting, a connect call with them, um, get that conversation going in a very natural way. So think through target account markets and start saying these are the 200 companies, these are the 300 companies that are a great fit for what we do, they're in the right sector and then start splitting them into tiers as well. All right, hopefully that's been useful for you. Very account-based marketing approach rather than an inbound marketing approach. But if you've got something that has a longer sales cycle of over three months, it's a high value product, you know, so you're in uh, mechanical engineering with a big piece of machinery that you sell into sectors, ABM is the perfect way. And there'll be only certain people who'll be able to afford that machinery. So I think creating your target account list in that situation is quite a straightforward process. Okay, so hopefully that was useful for you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then just hit this icon down here. That'll take you through to subscribe to us. And then also make sure you tap on that bell icon so you're activating your notifications for any future videos that I upload. I'm uploading about three or four videos a week, touching on a variety of topics really to help you grow your B2B business. So find it really useful and subscribing to the channel is the best way to find out those videos. All right, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye now.